Hey guys, welcome to the live. I'm sure waiting for you to empty your bag so I can. Oh. So, first things first. If you want to come back, we're not driving yet. We're just going to be eating, feeding our little doggy here. You want food or water? Hi, everybody. All We're right. just starting off. We just got our food Good today, one. so. <clears throat> We're still eating. But he's feeding and watering our dog. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. Hope you guys are well. I'm having a tuna onigiri this morning. Hi, <laughs> Cynthia. Got two Cynthia's. Hi. Okay, so today, I'm still not at 100% energy level. Another, oh, I thought it was like another Cynthia, Catherine. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not at 100% energy level. So we're going to take it easy, just kind of get back into the swing of things. We'll go to places we think people would want to see, though. We're just going to drive around Kadena today. Yeah, I know onigiri. I love onigiri. This is my comfort food. I have a few comfort foods. Okay, bud. You um, you macaroni and cheese. If we're talking like American comfort food, it'd be mac, mac and That's cheese. Love me some mac and cheese That's your food. and uh, chicken tenders. Love chicken tenders. Not chicken nuggets. Chicken tenders. I love chicken tenders. Hi, cat. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Angelo. I'm glad to be back too. Hi, Ray. Angelo, when is when are you leaving for Okinawa again? You said July. Or was it June? Like, that's peasant food. He hasn't pooped yet. That's probably why. All right, we'll try later. We're doing okay. I think I still get really, really tired easily. But man, I will tell you, Corona kicked our ass. Um, I'm not here to argue. You have wet wipes. Yeah, I'm not here to argue whether it's like an actual like you know. I, I know everyone's a different on the spectrum of what they think Corona is. But whatever it is, it kicked our ass. <laughs> I feel like most people have had it at this point. We were doing so good not having it. Yeah, we spent two and a half years not getting it. All right, so let me show you what I got. This is a premium grilled salmon onigiri. And this is new. This is a Spam Musubi, but it's a uh, pork, egg, and spicy miso. Let me open them. A little more exciting than the packaging. So, yeah, we'll get to driving pretty soon here, but we always start these lives eating. So you guys can see uh, convenience store food. <laughs> Year three so far, so good. I know, Joe, you haven't gotten it yet. That's crazy. Okay, I have a question regarding these bananas. Are you guys a handle opener or are you a butt opener? Because Matt thinks it's so weird that I open my bananas from the butt. It is weird. It's not weird. Look it's at that. What kind then, of... Then you have a little handle to hold it with. Like a little... You're insane. <laughs> Yeah, Matt's like, Matt thinks it's so weird that I open it this way. And then I get, uh, I get rid of the butt in the beginning. I guess when you see pictures, is it open that way? Do the butt, see? <laughs> We're at Family Mart. Family Mart. I open from the butt, see? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> is that normal? You're the weird one. Hmm. You open it from the butt. Normally handle, but now I know about the butt. I open with the butt. <laughs> See? I agree. See? So many people. <laughs> 
You guys so literally weird. just made my day. I am so happy right now. Hmm. I haven't been this happy in a long time. Oh, you like the coolish. Joe loves coolish. How's that one? Pretty good. Spicy? Pretty spicy? No, that's not that spicy. <laughs> hmm. Handle gang, Joe, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Use the handle to open it. That's what I always say. I don't know. Uh, it says, okay, so it says... So next question. Wait, I hear that it's the proper way to do it. That's the way monkeys and apes do it, is they butt open. It makes sense. Don't feel bad, mad. I used to open from the stem. The butt doesn't smash it. Mm, from shoot. the butt is fancier. You're arriving in Chaton on July 12th. Okay. So we're listening to apes now. Is that what... <laughs> <laughs> Just our ancestors. <laughs> According to the evolutionary chart. <laughs> I feel like monkeys and apes are smarter than us. Have you not seen Planet of the Apes? It's true. They eventually... They can do. take us over at some point. Isn't that a historical documentary? Are you waiting for this? No, but there's a trash can right there. Oh, nice. Hmm. So how do you guys eat your burritos? From the butt or the top? Yeah, from the <laughs> top or the bottom. Or the middle. You just go right in. I used to know a person that used to do that. I was like, that's insane. I don't even know. That's how, that's, that's. So how do you feel now? You... I feel fine. No, now that you've been proven wrong about the butt theory. Oh. It's weird. <laughs> It's glad to see you guys too. Hey, Sean. I don't eat a ton of bananas though. I'm probably a, the banana fiend. I gotta take my supplements in the morning. I got literally a little ulcer growing on, so. Gotta have the milk tea too. This one's a Cochacaden one. Made by Coca-Cola. This one I always have a hard time taking. Does that smell like five spice? Yeah. What is it? It's a stomach supplement. Mm. It's all herbs. It's called Otai Sang. Are there a lot of you that have not had COVID yet? Yeah, Four Seasons is still still around. All right, I'm gonna try this salmon one now. This one I've gotten before. This one's really good. Oh, by the way, the spicy miso one was fine. It's the first time I've had it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. All right, should we drive while you eat? Yeah. You guys Tammy have hasn't had COVID. That's good. <laughs> Well, we are now in the COVID gang. Yeah, we thought we were. We were just about to get the third booster the, shot too. The few that has it. I bought had some it. Assam tea so that I can make a royal milk tea recipe. It's so hard to find here in Georgia. Mm. You guys don't have like an Asian market in Georgia? Or where you're at? Yeah. I, I mean, if you're in a city, market. there probably is an Asian market. I love the free drinks and bento. Yeah, we're just a. Uh, what, what is the word? What is the term when people go out to pre-gaming? We're pre-gaming. Seaweed? You did not Salmon. have COVID. That's, you know, Angela, that's actually surprising considering like New York at one point was like the really worst state. 
I mean, that's a really good, that's pretty crazy. That's awesome that you didn't catch it. But I'm surprised because New York was so, you know, crazy. Kelly didn't get it. All right, we're going to be off soon. Yep. Hubby got it two times and I always came out negative. But probably did have it. Must be, must be asymptomatic. He's laying down. It's we, a major eye <clears throat> Hi, Jack. We've uh, been to Co we've been to COVID. We've been to Tory Station a couple times or around it, but haven't in a while. Yeah, I don't need this today for now, at least. You guys ready to drive? Yeah, I ha we had two vaccines and got COVID, too. Bernard's never got it. Seems to be coolish. I'll have to get it later. I'm not feeling ice creamy right now. This is falling apart in my hand. Oh, that makes sense, Ellen. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, Buddy's, Buddy's actually laying down, which I'm really surprised, because he's... I might just... Here, it's you okay. already have your seatbelt on. Uh, you want to wipe your fingers? Mm -hmm. I have my phone here for the comment. Yeah, I need to get the booster. I'll send you some coolish. I wish I could. I mean, I guess it's ice cream. Even if it melts, like you could just refreeze it, right? Although, we... dairy. That's right, we'll let them walk around. You hungry? Buddy? Do you want some of this? Your food? No? Not interested. What do you want? You want water? What do you want? He doesn't want water. Hi, Seth Otisan! Welcome! Thank you. He's gotten more well-mannered with age, I think. He's a lot less crazy than he used to be. Can I get your eye boogers? Gotta get him. You gotta look cute for the camera. Okay, here you go. All right, we are. Let's uh, flip over the camera. I'm watching. Oh, okay, I see. All right, there we go. Wow, nice view for you guys. <coughs> Looks very clear today. Hey, Buzz. Let me move this over. Buzz, Buzz, I'm gonna have to open that and close that window. All right, here we go. Man, this is the first like sunny weather we've had in a long time. Yeah, it's been raining. I was kind of hoping it would rain. Yeah, rain would have been kind of cool, actually. It's like, it's been, when I say raining, it's been raining, like pouring. It's been insanely just crazy weather. Buddy, sorry, I'm gonna open the, 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 close the window. It's too hot, sweetheart. Yeah, gas prices aren't too bad here. I mean, they haven't changed at all. It was 165 a liter, 165 yen a liter. Yeah, 165 yen a liter. So it's like four or five bucks, I guess. Which it hasn't really changed that much. Yeah, I don't, uh, Japan, <clears throat> I think I was, I don't remember where, but they don't get their gasoline from the same places America does. America gets it from like the Middle East, right? Or Russia? I don't know. Apparently, they do get it from Russia. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, 
God, it's a nice day for a drive. 520 there, Joe? It's looking pretty clear. I was just talking to my friend who lives in California. She was like, ours is like $7 a gallon, $8 a gallon. Don't you ever feel like adults? Do you remember back in the day when you were a kid? And your parents would talk about taxes and the government and like gas and you're like, man, that's a boring topic. I'll never talk about that. Oh, and politics. And politics and the weather. Politics was just like, as a kid, you're like. You're like, oh my God, can we talk about Red and Stimpy or like what happened at the Animaniacs or something? <laughs> Instead, now here we are as an adult talking about gas prices. It's funny because uh, my care for these things hasn't changed. I still don't care about any of this stuff. I just find myself talking about it more. <laughs> you know, we should all just get a coloring book and some Crayolas and just go to the park or something and swing on a swing. Like the good old days. Hmm. Sawatika. Yeah, you should be able to find a, a car pretty easily, Angelo. Here. It's a like nice a day in Hawaii, wasn't it? Pouring rain some days ago. Oh, it's been pouring rain every single day for like the last month and a half. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been raining so much. This is honestly the first time in a long time I've seen sun, Gina. It, like, I, no joke, it has been straight raining. If you go to the Okinawan forums, you'll hear a bunch of people complaining about it. It's like, it's rainy season. We need it. Our dams are filling up, which is nice. Oh yeah, I loved going to the Mama-san and Papa-san stores to get candy and orange red bean mochis. <clears throat> I can find some occasionally in the bigger city in Virginia where my daughter lives, the oriental markets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I found that, at least in California, uh, the oriental markets are uh, not usually as much Japanese as they are like Chinese. Vietnamese, probably. Korean, Vietnamese, and Chinese. What I mean, Korean's not that common either, but I would say, like, yeah, Vietnamese. Especially in the Bay Area. Vietnamese is very... There's a lot of Vietnamese. I remember saying more Chinese stuff. So right now we're headed towards Gate 2 Street. We're, pa we're uh, Kadena is uh, to the right of us right now. Chibana? Chibana is where I grew up. This is, um... Uh, this is right outside Gate 2 Street. We're going to be passing Gate 2 here in a little bit. That's the expressway on the right there? Yeah. We cannot go on base, Stephen. No, we don't have any, we're not affiliated with the military. No association with the military. I mean, I used to be my dad's dependent, but I don't have my ID card. <clears throat> Is Kadena open to civilians and some of their services? No. There is like, uh, there is like things that are technically owned by America and they're like on a base-ish and they're open to civilians. Like there's the golf course. Oh yeah, Tayo golf course. Anyone can just go on there. 
they have like a little casino on there and a restaurant. miss the island too. I love Okinawa. My mother's from mainland Japan. Oh, where in mainland Japan is she from? So this is called uh, 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 Koku Kokudai Street, I think. Because Kok, Kokusai is in Naha, but this is like Kokudai Street, I believe. <coughs> Yeah, a lot of you should probably know where this we're McDo at. This McDonald's should be very iconic for a lot of people who used to live here. There's a Coco's coming up too, right? Yeah, there's a Yoshinoya and then there's the Coco's Curry. Which is such a great spot to have a Coco's Curry. There's two Coco's Curries on this road. We might see some Americans if we're lucky. <laughs> I still get kind of surprised. Well, not really around here, but. Cocos! Some places. Kokutai Tori. I know. There's some people who really hate Cocos, and I'm like, y'all are crazy. Crazy. I know, I know that you can make better curry at home, but when you don't want to go through the trouble of making curry at home, Cocos is a fantastic place to go. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for joining us on your break. You know what's funny is, uh, you know, like when you're traveling around in other countries and you see another American and then you like get together with them, hang out with them and like, you know, listen to their suggestions and recommendations and stuff about the country and you become like best friends, right? Meanwhile, when you're in America, you can meet someone from like the same city in the grocery store or something and you just think they're an idiot but I, if you're overseas it's just like what i heard that in the vagabonding book and it's very true when you're in another country another american to you is like wow that's awesome and you um, listen to everything they say, say but if you're in america you wouldn't listen to everything Anyone another american can says like even in your same city you I think, know? well yeah I can see that even like your neighbor down the street you know <laughs> you know when I'm traveling I realized how awesome it is to run into somebody who actually speaks your language yeah it is really cool because when you're in a country where you can't speak the language it's like so much rare and like you start missing it <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. Be so, safe too. So, on the right hand side is actually where Kadena is. Kadena Middle School and High School is on the right hand side of us. Right now, we're passing it. The gate that we're get going into. Hmm. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'll probably put up a vlog of our. Um, experiences with COVID because I basically blog the whole thing. But yeah, Kadena is on, Kadena High School and Middle School is on our right. Bringing back some memories, huh? Here, let's see. Kadena Middle School is right there. So I always tell this story because there's a karaoke place on the side, on the left-hand side across the street from this gate. And my mom would always drop me off at this gate. And then I would walk into the gate to go to school, but she never hung around. So as soon as I walked through the gate, I would like turn back around and then I would just go to the karaoke place across the street and sing karaoke all day, just skip school. Nice. I never liked school. I was I was never a studious person. How many of you in the chat actually went to Kadena High School? Buzz, buzz, what you doing there, Bubba? What? I think doing? a lot of you probably went to Kubasaki, but. Old Kadena Middle School used to be there on the gate too. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm 
Michelle did. Michi. Yeah, Michi and I went to the same school. She was a year below me. Oh, June did. Tammy did. Oh, Catherine did. Killingworth Elementary. Kid skip school. Kid did skip school. Is that really a surprise, Bernard? <laughs> We're rebels. She's a rebel. I finished school. <laughs> yeah, I never did. I I have a I have a high school diploma from one of those correspondence courses, but I actually just outsourced my homework <laughs> to the nerdy kid. I, I just because I, I was like heavy into online MSN chats. And I would just like meet people on there who were really good at math or science or history. And I'm like, hey, can you, can I just pay you to do my homework for me? Yeah, that's got to be easier now than ever before. Like, No, because now they have a lot more security measures on like, you know, like they, they track everything. Back then, it wasn't really Like that online stuff. classes? Though? Online classes and stuff like that, yeah. Hmm. It was so much easier to just be like, hey, I'll give you my login. Can you just do my schoolwork for me? <clears throat> Strong restrictions? COVID situation? No, no restrictions. No, I mean... They just highly suggest you do things. Yeah, there was never really, like, strong... That's how it's always been, though. Restrictions. I'm clutching my pearls. <laughs> no, it says. <laughs> if I ever, like, admitted that and I got famous, they'd probably just take away my high school diploma. I don't think so. I don't think anyone cares. I don't even know where it's at, honestly. I lost my high school diploma a while ago. <laughs> I only got it because I wanted to move to New York City and go to the School of Visual Arts. <clears throat> and I, I, everyone told me I needed at least a high school diploma. Because at the time I couldn't get on base to get my GED, so I just did correspondence courses. So I was like, well... I don't want to do the work, but I do want to go to the school, so. Dang, that was a tall building. Which one? I don't know. We're getting into Mihama American Village here, and uh, they're, they got some tall buildings now. We're going right today. I mean tall, depending on what you think of as tall, but for Okinawa, I guess they're pretty high. 15, 20 stories, maybe. Mm. Kind of nauseous. <clears throat> now, there, Kubasaki was the only high school. Yeah. Buddy, you know what, sweetheart? Oh, is the Ferris wheel? Oh, it's still there. Uh, they start. They're starting to, to demolish it on the first of this month, so it's going to be like a two or three month process. It'll be gone in two or three months. Oh, so they started already then. Is it possible to retire here as an American? It actually is. Um, yeah, I think there is some uh, <coughs> expats. Have we met? Yeah, here? I mean, I've met expats. Most of the expats here are married to locals. That's... Yeah, that's kind of... That's that's a thing, but... There, there is some that own, like, bars and stuff. Yeah, there's some people who come here they, and like, own open bars. A, open or, a bar and then Or just, a business. And just then they to just, stay here. Yeah, just to stay. Um, Someone stole my class ring while I was there. If you see a 1981 ring in a pawn shop, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Keep an eye out. I don't even think I've ever been in a pawn shop. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been in a pawn shop here. But if we ever do. Oh, here's a, what is the main gate? Was that gate one? They really cleaned it up. You want to show them? This is the main casino gate? Yeah. Well, gate two in this one is probably, buddy, you know what? I can't. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I know you look. It's no, it's too hot. It's too hot, sweetie. I know, you like it, I know, but it's so hot. So this is the main gate of Kadena. 
They really cleaned it up. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> and then we got, we're coming, so we're passing gate one. It's a long line of people waiting to get into that base. Sorry, bud, I know you love it, but it's way too hot to go. I think the phone's a little hot, too. This dude. Poor boy. You're fine. Quit whining. <laughs> He's probably hot back there. Good. Good. Plan to visit sometime in late September. Mom has dementia. I'd like to bring her back to Okinawa one last time. All the siblings and family in Okinawa haven't been back since '83, so this oh, yeah. will be a long-awaited visit. My stepdad was stationed there back in late '60s. Oh, we're not driving Luigi. No, we're in my mom's car. Yeah. Luigi doesn't have air conditioning. We so. still haven't fixed the air conditioner. We never go anywhere, so it hasn't been a priority. This is the only time. You guys are in the car with us the only time we're in the car. Yeah, we really never ever go anywhere. I mean, just I guess we'll get groceries, but that's like a minute away. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, I think Japan still not open, but they've been really talking about it. You know, we should put them right here. Mm. Right where the AC is. You want to put them here? Yeah, in the middle. All right. Hold on. Uh, I'll, I'll stop by Naval Kadena. Actually, show, the, show them here coming up. So, to the left coming up. Um, it looks like in a second. Hey, there's a, uh, what do you call those guys? Oh, Kijimuna. Kijimuna, yeah, that's right. Right here on the left is Kadena Marina and the Seaside Steak and Food Restaurant. <clears throat> Which actually, technically... Oh, this is one of those, like, on base, but yeah. open. Yeah, technically anybody can go in it. It's the Kadena Marina. Look Ooh. at that. Oh, look at how blue. Oh, wow, the ocean looks nice right now. Yeah, this is the Kadena Marina. Look at that. This is the most you guys will probably get to the military base, to be honest. We'll get out for a second. But he probably could use a, some peen. Yeah. Wow, it's nice. Dang! I would like to eat at the Kadena Marina actually one of these days. Hey, Oliver's in. Wow, look at those clouds! I'll go take Buddy if you want to walk around for some <laughs> Dang! The clouds are awesome. They look great on the screen too. used to lifeguard there in the early 80s. What a nice day. Oh, All right, here, let me walk around here. I'm just impressed by those clouds. They are some puffy white clouds. Do appreciate you guys posting your drives through Kadena. Mom used to sing at local clubs in the 60s. I know US Army is long gone from Okinawa, so what happened to the Army base? Uh, there's no more Army bases? 
They just recently kind of got rid of them, though, right? <laughs> to what? I mean, they're still Tory. I think they're still an army. Oh, Tory's still army. Not as much army. Nice mini bus. Hey, Sean. Okay, let me walk over here. Man, nice day. Look at the people swimming. This water is blue. I don't know if I asked yet, but um, if you guys don't mind sharing this live to some other Okinawa pages so that people can find us and see us, that would be cool. What are you doing, dog? What are you whining? Okay, this is Kadena Marina. I'm gonna walk down there. Here, aren't you? This dog is tripping me. Oh, that's nice. Wow, it's looking... This water is really nice. Dang. So this they have blocked off. I'm gonna... I'm gonna touch the water. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's like pool water. Very good. I don't know where Kit went now. Man, this is really pretty though. Is that a swim platform? Yeah, it looks like people are climbing all over it. They have a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like, what do you call it? buoy barricade thing. Sometimes they have that buoy thing and then uh, a net that goes all the way to the bottom to kind of keep uh, jellyfish out. But I don't know if this is actually blocked off by a net. It might just be like a indicator for where you can swim. nice though, I didn't realize you could just drive in here and go swimming. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. There's like, I don't know if it's a shrine or something on that rock out there. There's like actual concrete steps. Hmm. It's like little picnic area, uh, volleyball net. Wow. Do you guys 
guys know about this place? The Cadena Marina. Was this here? When you were there? When you were here? I don't know what I'm asking. There's probably some cool fish and stuff in there. Love going there when the kids are little. They don't remember though. Here, I'll walk around a bit. Here's the seaside. Uh -oh. Never been, been a long time, but you have been here. That's good. Yeah, I don't know when this place opened up. I mean, I think it's been here a while, but. I know a lot of you haven't been here in a while, so. No pets allowed inside. Oh yeah, the pirate ship playground. Yeah, like last year, or maybe two years ago now, they remodeled that. Or they fixed it up. They've been keeping it up. It's really nice. Hmm. Not really going anywhere now. Look, you guys can see uh, this isn't military housing, but military buildings. Lots of memories there. And I'm sure they look exactly the same as they did even in the 60s. Even the colors, I don't think they've changed. Okay, let's go back to the beach area. Oh, there's Kit. She's at the car. Restaurant was there when I was there in the early 80s. Last time on Okinawa in 95. 30 years, but never went. You know what? We've never been here either. Uh, we've never eaten here. So we'll continue driving now. I like this bus, by the way. It's really cool. Very nice. Oh, look who it is. Forty two years. Dang, Bernard. If anybody is curious, it is eighty five degrees Fahrenheit today and 84% humidity. But he's gonna sit in the middle with us? For a little bit, yeah. I know you're dying to climb on me. Hi. <laughs> Johnny Depp's court case? No, I don't think anyone cared. No, I mean, I'm sure it? it was. I don't know, I don't watch the news. I mean, it was big on YouTube, where we spend most of our time. Yeah. But I don't know about, like, I don't think Japanese. No, they were covering it. Oh, were they? I'm sure. Oh. Japan covers all foreign news because they don't have any news of their own. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can kind of see a plane. You can kind of see a plane. The tail of a plane. I am impressed by those clouds. They look good. I like the clouds. Clouds are my favorite part of nature. Are you getting the AC on you? And brothers? I like all the nature. Uh, I'm getting them. Did you try feeding him or giving him water? He wouldn't even poop. He wouldn't even poop? No. Nope. Oh my gosh. He has not read the book apparently that everybody poops because he has not done it. We need the dog console car seat for Buddy. <laughs> yeah, we spoil this boy. Eventually we're gonna have to get him a little, uh, what is the word? That's a KC-135 tanker. 
So this is Naval Kadena. I know some That's of you guys. That's pretty impressive that you can. I didn't even see the plane. It's amazing that you were able to see it from a tiny distance. Yeah, not only see it, but I didn't. But <laughs> name what it was. <laughs> this is Naval Kadena. Clouds are cool to paint too. Oh yes, very true. Oh yeah, Angelo paints. I I used to watch. I I love watching Bob Ross paint trees and clouds. Happy little clouds and happy little trees. <laughs> These are. This is Naval Kadena. I know some of you guys have good memories. Oh here. yeah, that's right. Toys R Us used to be here, but it's not anymore. Was it right there, straight ahead? No, it used to be in that. Building. Oh, that building. Toys R Us. This here on the left hand side of us used to be like a Costco like place. Oh, this is like a, it's not a make man, but it's like a make man. Yeah, it's like a home center. Interesting. But this is what Naval Cadena looks like. Oh, can I go this way? Yes, I can. I worked on those for a while when I was there. Oh, the plane. Oh, they have like sashimi places here. That looks good. Bob Ross is the goat. <laughs> that, a there's friend. a Shakey's there. Oh yeah, is there? Uh, I don't still even know here? if it's still here. I, I saw, I haven't seen the Shakey's in a while. Did you just see the Shakey's? I don't know if I noticed it. Well, they have goats, like actual goats. Oh yeah, those goats are the goat. Do you think uh, <laughs> this is Bob Ross? <laughs> Look at that, can you guys see it? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the little baby. They're baby ghosts. His head is sticking out, eating that bean or something. What is that? Is that like just grass? Bean. I think it was a bean. That's funny. Huh. I can't go through. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I don't think I'm supposed to, but I can technically. So that's what we gonna do. Oh, you don't If need you to actually cry. owned goats. You know, it'd be cool to name all the goats, each one of them, the same name as the best person from every industry that you like. I have a friend who has goats. The greatest of all time from every industry. So one goat can be Bob Ross. Yeah. Another Anybody one can be like Eminem, Marshall Matters, <laughs> <laughs> the goat. <laughs> Marshall Matters. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan Michael Jackson For those of you that don't know, because this is kind of a newer thing, but GOAT is an acronym for greatest of all time. So when someone's the GOAT, they're the greatest of all time. I'm a GOAT. You're the GOAT? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that kind of sounded like a GOAT, right? <laughs> okay. That was pretty good, actually. It wasn't bad. Don't they like scream? <laughs> <laughs> You're scaring our dog. <laughs> this shot's a spot on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're turning down uh, Science Street behind. Uh, yeah, I, this. What'd you call that? Naval. Naval Kadena. Naval Kadena. This one's taking us towards uh, Mizugama, so I figured this would be another one. Because oh. there's Tsunabe, and then there's this area, Mizugama.
Kit more like a literal goat. <laughs> she, as long as she's not the fainting goat. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good for any of us, huh? Thanks, Millie. Especially considering I'm the one driving. Great to see you out and about. Kit the goat. <laughs> she's not fainting, yeah. <laughs> Sweetie. Did any of you ever live in this area? This is, uh, um, this, uh, this is Sunset. Sunset Beach? Sunset. We need to shave this dog. A lot of Americans live here. There's a really, I mean, you've been here, it's really pretty. Yeah. But we'll go, this is... Oh, you are trying, you're trying to sneak on my lap, huh? Is he putting a paw on your lap? He's got one paw on my lap. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna scooch on over here. Just Don't gonna mind move me. All right, all right. Okay. There's a ladybug on our windscreen. Oh, God. What is Kit short for? Hmm. Is it a secret? Kit. It's not really short for anything. Kit. What's the a Kit acronym? Didn't Kit the car actually have an acronym? I mean, Kit, if you're asking, it's short for Christine. Well, actually, it was Christina, was my actual name, with a K. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't like the name. And then everyone called me Chris or Tina. Actually, nobody ever called me Tina. Only one person ever really called me Tina. But I hated both of that. There's so many Chris's in my grade. I was like, there's too many Chris's. Anyone notice the little fly on the camera lens? Oh yeah, you guys are talking about that. Was so that a roach? No, that's a ladybug. On the camera lens? On the camera lens? Oh, yeah, there is a ladybug on the um, Winch windshield. windshield. Yeah. Interesting. You guys saw it. Oh, it's, a it's a ladybug. Oh, yeah, this is a popular area, too, when yeah. you go down here. My dad and I used to fish in this area. It's like a little more, not quiet, but... Yeah, remember, the seawall has been painted for a while. Do they, uh, they just keep going, huh? There's a Boo, there's a Minion, there's a Jigglypuff. Jiggly Wigglypuff? Pikachu, Eevee, Doraemon. Yeah, this is a pretty area too. And a lot of people come here and fish. Night Industries 2000. That's what Kit stood for. What is it? Night Industries oh. 2000. Night Industries 2000. K I T T. Okay, bud. Your paws are like blades. <laughs> Blades of cuteness. Have you seen his paws? He's got the cutest little paws. Just go. Hey. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're good. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Just stay there. There you go. You know, I've never been left of this. I've only ever gone straight. Should we go left? I've never yeah, let's gone. go left. I've never How have you left. never gone left? I've this is the ocean way. I've never gone left. We're going left. I don't know what this road is or what it does. It's next to rocks. How do they do that concrete like that to keep the... It's interesting. We're exploring 
this guy I don't think sees us. I think they might be workers. No? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna walk. Oh. Too many rock concerts for this guy. Yeah. We're still... They can just park. And... Oh wait, there's a bridge here. Is that a bridge? I don't know if you could drive it. Can you? I don't think you can drive it, but we can walk it. Yeah, you can drive it, actually. Can you? Looks like it. Where does it go? I don't know. Can you drive it? Why not? This is interesting. I've never been down here. Left kills signal. Yes, it does. Oh, there's a little... Oh, this is underneath that red bridge. Oh, interesting. Hey, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. I have never been down here. You can actually rent kayaks. Oh, this is so I would love to rent kayaks here. do this. Oh, next time maybe we could come rent a kayak here and just do live through this. That would be cool. Would you guys like to see that? Hold on, let me go see how much the kayak rentals are. I'll be right back. Here, let me see. Let me show you guys. This is the air conditioning vent because my phone's hot <laughs> that's that red bridge I forgot what it's called there's buddy whining because Kit got out of the car yeah kayak live would be really cool yeah, you can see people over there, kayaking. Yeah, I can get out of the car. Let me do that. Leave our little budster inside. You're gonna stay, okay? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, there's chairs and gazebos and stuff to bike. Yeah, that's really cool. But he's whining. He's a whiny, whiny dog. Yeah, all these kayaks. Hang on, you gotta move, dog. You gotta move. Hold on. So I guess they don't rent kayaks. Like oh, they regularly. don't? It's like a pack tour package. Like a tourist package. Oh, okay. How much is it? 4000 per person. Oh, okay. And um, then you just, what is it, like an all-day thing? I don't know. I think so. But they said you can bring your own kayaks and set boards, but you do have to pay like a couple hundred yen to use the river. Oh. I think it's a maintenance fee. Yeah, I mean, it looks really nice over here. Yeah, I have, I'm have. i glad I turned left. I've never been left. That would be cool. Yeah. Well, we could do like the tourist package or something for one of these lives, maybe. Yeah. That would be neat. We could just go on the water. I have the chest mount. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we have a phone chest mount, too. That's really cool. Is this in Kadena? No, this is... This is well, around Kadena. This is near Kadena Circle. Oh, near Kadena Circle. Okay. That is so cool. And they got some boards. We were right underneath the red bridge. If you guys know where that's at. Yeah, that red bridge is pretty famous. Yeah, a lot of people know it. Well, they have a real gold at that one.
That's pretty cool. Glad I moved. Dang. That's awesome. I'd like to get my own kayak and my own sup boards and stuff eventually. Yeah, that would be cool. This is neat. How's your phone doing? Going on a little adventure. Now let me take the case off. Take the case off this phone here. Sorry, one second. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Is that salt water? Cool yes, that is salt. Yeah, that's the ocean. Season. Hopefully the connection gets fixed. Oh. Uh, no, there is another. We'll take you to that one next time, Angela. Oh, to answer your question from earlier, uh, I forgot who asked it, but yes, the internet is fast here, typically. We're always coming. using data, and the data is a little spotty. I mean, we're doing these live, so we really notice it. But we do have what's considered the best service. You know, it's... It's an AU. It, I think, because we have to use a lot of data and a lot of power to do these. So, for us to be able to do this with very little issues most of the time, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it goes all the way down that way and stuff. That's so cool. It's like a really long river. Ooh, we have to do that. But yeah, internet services are like, all of them are fiber and they're all like a gig speed. Thousand up, thousand down. I think you could pay for less, but it's only like 40 bucks for us for the gig. There's Obligados, which is a Mexican Oh, yeah. Place. That Mexican place, that's the one that people always recommend. Sorry, the phone seems... Oh, I took the case off, so now it's... Let's see. Yeah, that rock wall. I think that's the problem, is there is a lot of... Uh, all the buildings are concrete here, and then... There is a lot of coral mountains that are cemented and stuff. Uh, is there antenna TV still? No. Uh, no, I think they're all like satellite. I mean, I'm sure they have there's some. There's probably some signals being broadcasted. Yeah, maybe some. I'm not sure. We just use the Netflix. Yeah, we don't watch TV. We don't have TV. We're one of those people, annoying people who don't have TVs. Yeah. We have Netflix. Obrigatos. Is it a Jap Japan or Okinawan chain? I know there's at least two in Okinawa. Yeah, I think it's just like a uh, local Okinawan the, person that has like... The two. other Obligatos closed down. This yeah, is I think the there is only one. one now. This is where they have the pizza vending machine. Oh, right here? Oh. Where are we headed? We are heading to a place that a lot of people have gone to, I know. To a place that a lot of people have gone to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I always mess up. I wonder if it's here. Okay, now a pork village. Wow. Such a good boy. 
Do you guys travel up north? Would love to see the countryside of Okinawa. Yeah, we'd love to travel up north. Uh, we, we I actually, mean, at this point... We probably have done more north than we have south. I think if you look back on our videos on our channel, we've probably done everything of uh, interest at this point. Well, we haven't done like the pineapple park. Oh yeah. But uh, we repeat a lot of things, like the more popular things, because uh, you know, people spend time at those places and like to check them out. A lot of times we do just drive um, down random roads that we think people will find interesting or familiar. Like, this place is pretty... I mean, it's fun for us, too, because, like... Oh, this is, uh, the... Um, yeah. The beach thing. What is this called? Pork Village? Apparently it's called Pork Village. That's... That's not the... I forgot what the name of this, uh, actual thing was. Can you post your merch link, please? <sighs> hmm. So, hold up. We got we got some announcements to make. Okay, we gotta talk about this stuff. Let's first get out, go to the beach. Well, let's talk about it first. You want to talk about it here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. My name is Kitsukimi. Okay. Okay. So, uh, because you Did mentioned. Did you make an announcement? No. Well, no. I did to because I asked him some questions. So we are, for those of you guys who know, you know, if you guys don't know, we used to have a Okinawa inspired clothing brand called, I'm not even wearing the shirt, but Ryukyu, R-Y-U-9. Um, we are relaunching it because a lot of people have asked us to relaunch it so they could get some Okinawa inspired t-shirts. Um, we are, we were hoping to launch it today, but we still need some time to finish some of the website stuff. Um, so we'll probably have it launched by next Sunday. Yeah, I think we'll have it done next live. We'll probably announce it officially. And then and you guys can go on the site and check it out. But, um, yeah, we designed a lot of, uh, shirts and... I don't know, just all kinds of some, designs yeah. or Okinawa-inspired stuff. Well, this time around, we have some cool flip-flop designs. We got some bags as well, including t-shirts. I'm going to try to see if I could get some swimwear and stuff going. Still working on some stuff. But, so it's not official yet, yeah. but just let you know it's coming. But it is coming soon. So I'm just letting you guys know. Um, you guys will be able to s support what is it? No, Rep Okinawa pretty soon with our brand. Yeah. So. But we'll talk more about it next week when the website's actually up. Hey, you're really hot. Huh? Let me get you some water, sweetheart. Okay, hold on. Let me... You gonna give him water? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then... Where is his water? Uh, it's in that bag. Also, we appreciate, too, a lot of you guys... Uh, oh, Kofi. Yeah, a lot of you guys have made donations to us uh, as well to help us pay for these lives um, on Kofi. So we appreciate that too. Like a lot of you have really, really helped us out. It's nice. Helps us with gas. And like, we were just talking about the kayak thing. We would like to pay for that and take you guys on there. And we want to go to that island, back. which is a ferry ride. Sit. Um, Ie. We're going to do that when Chris gets back. Oh, Ie? Yeah, Ie Jima. Yeah. Will you please drink water? We'll take a ferry ride over to that yeah. island when Chris is back. But all that stuff costs money. So... Thank you for your help. Yeah, we appreciate you guys, like, helping us pay for this stuff. We would have gone last week if I didn't get COVID. Yeah, we had it, like, kind of planned out, but we want to go with Chris. He's in mainland right now seeing his dad, so he's not even here. Uh, 
then we got COVID and stuff, so. Uh, and I'll put the donation link there, but a lot of you guys donate. No obligation. It just you guys helps already us. have donated a lot. It just helps so. us. Come here, buddy. Anyway, let's continue with the live. Just wanted to get the... Uh, I'll put this on because I think there's people here. Get the, uh, what do you call it? The announcements out of the way. The donations as well as the clothing launch will be next week. And we'll keep showing you guys some cool places. Hey, yeah. Okay, let's go walk. Tabe Eats is awesome. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. That's is that the monthly subscription thing for Japan? Likes to kick grass. Okay, let's go see the ocean. Last time we were here, which actually was alive as well, it was really hot. But now it's a lot nicer. It was like we didn't even want to be outside. It was so hot. But now, yeah, it looks like it might start raining again. Remember those beautiful clouds we saw earlier? They uh, disappeared pretty quick. So I'll show you more than the bathroom. There's a nice beach here. Oh, Tabe Eats is a YouTuber from Tokyo. You're right. What am I thinking of? Ah, oh, I knew I've heard of Tabe Eats. You're right, you're right. That's what it is. I watch, uh, sometimes I watch Chris Broad, Abroad in Japan and Joey the Anime Man. Oh, and for those of you in the YouTube space, PewDiePie moved to Japan. I actually had a dream. The biggest Pewdiepie. YouTuber in the world that's a, not a company. Yesterday I had a dream about PewDiePie. Oh, did you? Yeah, we met up in Japan. See, I think it's awesome that he's here. I would love... I would love to uh, do a collab with I don't know, Joey and Connor and PewDiePie. We need to be a lot bigger though. And we haven't been helping since I haven't posted on YouTube in a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much kicking. Does anybody else's dog do that? Is that a dog thing or is that a buddy thing? Kicks the grass like crazy. Hope I don't miss much. Can't break my Duolingo streak. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah. He's pooping again. Oh, nice. Is there another dog? Oh, there is another dog. Definitely a dog thing. Everybody's dog does it, Kit. I thought that was a cat thing. I mean, I know cats bury their poop, but everybody's dog does it. They say. Can you calm? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, you're supposed to be such a quiet, good doggy. You're a quiet, good doggy. <laughs> His butt's still flaring, so I think he's still got some poop in him. Wait, buddy, People don't think you're cute, though. Don't go that one has uh, spikes. <laughs> He wants to jump in the spikes. Oh, look at this. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, hear the thunder? Okay. A little bit of it. What, you're leaving? Yeah, fuck this shit. Kit's afraid of lightning and thunder. I love it. It's like right above us. She likes it when we're inside. Look at this, though. This cave. See it's dripping? Can you guys see it dripping? You can see the water through there. Wow, it's getting nice. Feels good outside now. Look at the water's getting really choppy too. Look at that. See how fast the weather changes here? We were just at that other place over there. I was talking about the white puffy clouds, the nice sunny day, the beautiful blue ocean. And now look at this. It's like a completely different day going on. What is this? The clouds are ominous. The ocean is no longer blue, it's dark and choppy. Although I think it's not usually as blue as over there, over here anyway, but. And then this looks like it'd be really fun to climb. I like lightning and thunder when it's humid and warm out, not when it's super cold. For sure, that's what it is right now. Nice. The weather feels so much better too. You enjoying yourself? Are you nervous? Our daughter was baptized there. Oh wow. Right here. Interesting. It's still really pretty though. This looks like a... I don't know, that clouds and the dark ocean looks like a like a nautical painting of a seaman. S-E-A. <laughs> C. <laughs> oh, you can see uh, these orange I don't know what they're called, but you see them around Okinawa. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. These uh, plants with the orange. Does anyone know what they're called? Hmm. Very tropical looking though. This is a very pretty area though. <laughs> so much warm rain lately. Yes. What? Oh, would you just leave it on the ground or something? Oh. So, I'm thinking, oh, you can hear it, like my hair, I've been growing it out, gotta comb it more, still probably need a hair cut though, maintain it, 
I was going to say, um, oh, we'd like to, maybe we could schedule it like a year out, but uh, maybe do a meetup in Okinawa here for the live in Okinawa people. You guys. And then that way you can, we'll have to wait till Japan opens up, but it'll give, give you guys an excuse to plan a trip, you know, you can come see Okinawa, your family, your friends, your old places, as well as come do a meetup with us. One of these days, yeah? Yeah. I was saying maybe we should just plan one like a year out. That way it gives people an excuse to come visit. I'll be like, oh, well, well we now's the perfect time. We are not military, but I'd love to see or be a part of that. Oh, I'd love to see. Yeah, Camille, you can come hang out with us and Chris and stuff too again. Yeah, we could go to the Oh yeah. Grow a mullet, Ray says. You need high and tight cut, boy. Come on, Stinky. Very pretty. Oh, wait, can I get a soda? I'm gonna get a, uh... here, can you hold this for a second? I got my hands. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna get a uh, real gold, because I remember they have that here. You guys have seen it many times before on the lives, but let me show you the drink machine. Oh, they don't have one at this one. Oh, there's two. So we got a Coca-Cola. We got an ice cream vending machine. Our first two children were born there. Oh yeah, they canceled like everything. I'm here for real gold. It's uh, like an energy drink. It's like a much better Mountain Dew. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, also Coke machines now take all these cards. Look at this. You can get an app on your phone for like rewards points for the um, vending machines. I totally do that, but I don't they have all the cards, I don't the pass. I don't drink Coke oh wait. Uh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, same as that. So I think that's kind of cool. They Do you want something? How much is that? 160? Uh, I have one. Oh, they have the chill out. I only have 110 left. That's fine. I don't need anything. Do you have any change? If you have some change, maybe. So this is what you do. This is what we do. We're old school. Oh, these are, uh, I already put the 100 yen. This is 10 yen. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's the old bottle. I wonder how long this real gold has been in here. The new bottle is here. That's the new bottle. But they put the old bottle in the machine. Oh yeah, there's lots of coffee. Uh, they're all iced coffee right now. Um, but yeah, in the winter they have hot coffees. Every machine, I think every vending machine uh, in Okinawa has coffee and tea, all of them. And depending on the season, you could get it hot or cold. So, yeah, those are definitely very popular. Yeah, that was a Coca-Cola one, so a lot of you probably 
will recognize a lot of the drinks, you know? Um, but yeah, a lot of the other machines. I wish they had real gold, though, in America. I mean, it's made by Coca-Cola. Probably wouldn't be that hard for them to bring it to America. And I feel like Americans would really like it. At least younger Americans, because it's like a soda, you know? Sometimes you, you are such a pain in the booty. I mean, he's being good. We could throw him in the back again. Yeah, it's not as hot now. Yeah, let's throw him in the back. You're such a pain in my booty. Okay, hold on, you. guys. You're such a pain in my booty. You're such a pain. Let's set up our dog. And then we'll keep driving. Hmm. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to okay, flip. Bud. Can you, can you try giving him some water? Yeah, buddy. You want to come back here? You gotta, you gotta grab it. He's not gonna do it that. Way. He's not gonna go back. <laughs> it's like he's not gonna voluntarily leave our side. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hot! Here, bud. I don't do heat very well. Take a bit. You're so welcome, Paula. What are you trying to say, Matt? Younger Americans? Do they have a great phantom? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like as you get older, you less and less like the uh, sweet, sugary drinks. Is he a palm? Apparently, he is. So I just said that. I also notice even here. Um, the only people that like it are like teenagers. Are you serious? No way. I see it as the opposite. Re real cool? I feel like, I feel like people, sodas? No, that's more of an old person thing. Older person thing. I guess it's for everyone. No, I mean, think about all your, your grandparents drink as Coke, your parents drink as Coke. Most know, of our they, friends don't but even. But they wouldn't drink Mountain Dew. Most of my you know friends I mean? don't even drink like soda because of the sugar content. Like, I feel like younger generations now... Oh, though, yeah, they're like... They're more health conscious. I see. But he does need a shave. Um, he definitely does need a shave. Um, but it's a pain in the butt to shave him. I was gonna shave him, but then again, I got COVID. So. Okay. Look at my hair. is going all over the place. Wow, it's looking... I need to, uh, I want to do something. I got to go to the Jesus. barber oh and be like, oh, it's, hot. it's hot. I don't do heat very well. I mean, it's cooling down now, but. Where's my phone? Because you were reading. It was. Oh, I have it in my pocket. Okay. Because you, you were reading the comments on it. I love Mountain Dew. Mix alcohol with it. No, we brought our dog to Oki and it was. A pain in the ass. It's very expensive. We've had him for 10 years. This dog is a 12 year old dog. He is a palm, actually. Somebody asked. I think it was Desiree. He is a, he is a palm. Specific, um, and uh, I think he looks more like a German Spitz, personally. But he is. Yeah, he looks exactly fish. like a German Spitz. If you know what that, if you don't know what that looks like, look it up and it looks like Buddy. And we're like, he's a German Spitz. And the guy we got it from is like, he's a palm. Like, okay. Our first dog, Jake, was a puppy found on the flight line. Oh, wow. You know, I heard the other day that uh, somebody came to Okinawa uh, and then lost the flight line, or the flight people lost the cat. Because I guess they didn't close the cat's cage. Um, oh yeah, and it like ran away. And as soon as it landed, the cat cage opened up and it ran away on the flight line. You know, I have heard a lot of uh, horror stories with pets and the, um, what is it, the military? Yeah, the, the Is that what it, yeah. the military 
transport for pets. A lot of people like lose their pets on that. It's crazy. Um, we went through ANA and JL and they did a fantastic job. They were very, very Yeah, I think nice. we should have went through ANA. I think uh, between the two Japanese airlines, ANA and JL, I think they're both pretty nice, but ANA is the better one, in my opinion. It's so subjective, but yeah. I don't know if it is. Because Keiko loves JL. I keep giving JL a chance, and I'm like, this is just not as nice. I know how Ray feels about JL. Yeah, he doesn't like it, right? Yeah, he hates JL. Yeah, I'm kind of... It was fine when we were in Japan. Once you're in Japan, they're all nice. But watch out for the kitty. Jesus, it was fine. Oh, okay. God, you scared me. Uh, yeah. The Marine who found the puppy brought him to the church because he wasn't allowed to keep him in the dorm, so we adopted him. The dog and the Marine were still friends to this day. The dog and the Marine. Oh, we're still friends to this day. And that was 1992. Oh, wow. I see. But Gina just sent you something too. Need to get this for Buddy. I'm carrying case for Buddy. Foldable. Oh yeah. We'll check it out in a second. Brought my two cats from New York to Italy. Flight was great. Thought about taking them now to Okinawa, but my wife said it was a drag. They will stay in Italy. Um, That's rough. Flew A and A to Frisco to Oki back in '79. It is a lot of work transporting animals. That's one thing that I think uh, a lot of people. That's actually a really big issue here in Okinawa right now. Is people come here and they buy dogs from the pet store or they adopt dogs, but they never think about the cost of how much it costs or like whether they'll be able to get a flight. Because if you can't get your dog on the Freedom flight, it's like five or 6,000, close to $10,000 easily to like ship your dog back to the States. Well, maybe like 5,000. I mean, if you go through like a, like an animal, animal thing. I've heard people pay like upwards of close to eight thousand dollars trying to get their dog on on back to the States. And oh yeah when they need it in a pinch. Yeah. Too. And that's like one of the things that people don't think about when they get animals here is that you have to take them back. And so we end up getting like strays and people would just leave them on base or they'll just like dump them. And then, yeah it's it's becoming quite an issue. Here's the red bridge. Because carrying kennels is like overrun. It's like the only animal shelter on the base. And it's like overrun with animals. Because people just leave their dogs. Or cats. So where are we going now? I don't know. We'll just keep driving around Kadena, see what else we can find. place we can stop at. Is there, a, what base, if you guys were a part of the military, what base did, were you guys at, stationed at? I'm curious to know. Be good to, I mean, we just go Kadena because it's the biggest one and a lot of you probably know it. Las Vegas to Oki. Oh man, they went to a different airbase. Bolson. Bolson's in Oh, Korea. Naha Airbase, Kadena. 
Now Hub Air Base doesn't exist anymore. Zuke Adan? Zuke Adan. Zuke Adan? Kinzer. Kinzer. Shields. Foster. Kadena, Kadena. We'll have to drive around some of these other bases too. That's kind of why I'm asking. I mean, the other one you could really drive around is probably like Foster. Yeah, we could drive. Well, the Foster area is like, what, American Village? Oh, that's the front of it. Our babies were born in Leicester. Please Lester. give way, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was a dog. You want a friend, buddy? I was born in Leicester. So, did you guys see that little dog? <clears throat> Buddy, I know you're crying. Wow, the live is like not delayed like at all. I'm noticing. I'm watching this and it's like the same as... I mean, there's like a five second delay, I guess. Buddy, I know you're crying. Stop crying. Okuma was fun. Tenma, old butler Foster. We rented a camper at White Beach once. Lived on Kadena. Dad was assigned to Tory Station. Hmm. Naha then Kadena after Next Naha time. closed. Next oh, interesting. Time we'll have to do like a tour of Yomita. We did a huge tour of Yomita. Okuma. Buzz, buzz. I don't know what to tell you here, buddy. Pancake, waffle, coffee, acai, omelet. Morning works? Oh, morning works. That's great. We adopted our first Maltese when my dad was stationed in Okinawa. His best friend found it, tried to find the owner. No avail. Took her, loved her to pieces. My parents paid for her to come back. is depleting yeah. it's because it's oh do you want some of oh, you have water i always see it like the sim. You want some of this? i always see myself as like the sim character mm. my bar is going really low i'm like i'm wondering when the fatigue from the covid goes away covid fatigue Boy, do I miss that island. You guys just driving around is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the drives are always, uh, you know, a lot of people really like just the drives. I think, you know, a lot of you have, uh, most memories that are shared, are just like kind of driving around bases and stuff. I mean, that's where I know a lot of people that were in the military, a lot of you have said that you guys didn't get to go out much when you were here. So when we go to those places that are out and about, it's not as nostalgic. But just driving the roads, that's something everyone did, you know? There's the, what gate is that? I think that's gate, I forgot which gate that is. The closed one. Yeah, the one that's rarely ever open. So, <coughs> who watched Buddy in the States for you? My parents had him. Yeah. They miss him too. Yeah, his dad especially. I think this was, Buddy was his dad's first dog. Actually, yeah. this is Matt's first dog. Mm -hmm. 
He's talking about getting a cat or a dog. Uh, Kadena Circle is right here on the left side. Yeah, it's not a circle anymore, but this is Kadena Circle technically. We have the flight line on the right. Okay, flight line. Circle. I had a Sunshine concert that I played at that brown building right there. You played? Yeah, it was on the stage. Are you good at Sunshine? No. No. But Blair and I did it. It was really fun. COVID fatigue and brain fog for three months. That's what Judy said. Nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> So there's one other place I want to check out. Well, we'll go to Chibana, and then we'll probably end, because then that'll make a full loop of all the bases. Base gates. The skates, the skates. Voyager Game Station still next to McDonald's at Rycom. Uh, we haven't been to Rycom in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Like... Actually, we did go last live. The, the very last live we did, because we had oh, to get Buddy. Oh, you went. Oh, you were in the car. I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah, because we had to get Buddy's collar. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I live there on Kadena Circle. Nice. Well, it's almost midnight here. I have to get up for church. Thanks for doing this. Thank Thanks, you. Paula. Thank you for joining us. Why is the road blue? Those are anti-slip areas. If the weather gets too intense, I guess. The roads can get slippery. So on turns and stuff, sharp turns, fast speeds. Yeah, uh, Okinawa, a lot of people don't know this, but Okinawa, when the cor uh, when the rain hits the coral settles, coral dust settles onto the roads and it makes it pretty slick. So you gotta watch out. Oh, have y'all been to Sam's by the Sea? No. no we've we, been planning on doing a live there though. Yeah. Every once in a while somebody asks about Sam's by the Sea. That's also another thing we probably wouldn't do unless until Chris got back, because he... I'll have to talk to him, because I think his schedule is changing, so he might not even be available for Sundays anymore. The best restaurant on earth? Really? Oh boy. I, I heard the curry the curry soup is really good. Chris works. He works in the he works in the food industry, so he doesn't have like specific days off. He works all weekends. But You still have the shisa. You know, I want the shisa cocktail mug. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll do. We'll make a. We'll we'll go do a seaside. I'll have to see if I can. Okay, if anybody has the contact information for the guy who owns um, Sam's by the Sea, can you get us in contact with each other? Cause, I mean, what we could go there. When we first started this, like two years ago, he contacted. He reached us. out to us. But and I was like, I you don't... should do a live at my restaurant. So this is the new, like, Kadena Michinoeki. This is a... So in Japan, this Michinoeki is called Street Station. And they have a bunch of these, like, little stops all around the island. There's probably, like, 10 or 14 of these in almost every town. And they just totally redid this. 
looks really nice, actually. There's supposed to be a lot of good food. You're not hungry, though, are you? Are you? I, think it's, I just wanted to drive by it. Maybe next time we can stop and have food here. Or Sam's by the sea. Or Sam's by the sea. We can get the cocktail mug. She saw cocktail mug. I always have always wanted that seesaw cock. See, my dad wasn't a huge fan of seaside. He was more of a Four Seasons guy. So we always went to Four Seasons. I don't even think I ever remember going to Sam's by the Sea. I remember anytime we went to any kind of like teppanyaki place, it was always Four Seasons. Which I kind of want to go to Four Seasons just for the nostalgia of it all. I mean, a lot of people have said, talked about Four Seasons, too. I love Four Seasons. I don't know if I've ever been there. No, we've never been. I haven't been since I was a kid. Hmm. So, Kadena's on the right here. This is that yeah, stretch line. of road here that's, uh, nothing's really here. Yeah. You can actually... Let's see. Oh, there it is. The flight line. On the other side of this is a good make-out spot. Okay. <laughs> There's a parking lot that oversees the flight line, and the high school students would go over there to make out. Not you, though, huh? No, I was a pretty innocent child. I see. I didn't ever kiss a boy until I was in my 30s. Oh, yeah. Still haven't kissed one, actually. I love the live chats. Do y'all live in Okinawa? I lived in, you know, went to Kubasaki High School. Yes. Lived in Kadena Circle. I live in Sacramento. Holy shit. We Linda. Linda. We're from Sacramento. Well, no, I'm from Okinawa. But I'm from Sacramento. That's from Sacramento. I lived in Sacramento for 10 years, and I picked up this guy from Sacramento. We lived in Sacramento, we lived in Roseville, Rockland, and Citrus Heights. I also had a time where I lived in Lincoln. Well, we never lived in Sacramento, technically. I lived in Sacramento. Oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, when I first got there. I'm from Rockland, Roseville area. Um, yeah, we live in Okinawa now, though. We decided to come back to my home. I like it here. Oh, wait. You might want to take, because they're going to show uh, Chibana Gate. Chibana Gate, okay. Chibana Gate. I'll keep facing this way at Kadena. Oh yeah, Camille went to school in Sacramento for a bit. Yep. There it is, Chibana. Chibana, or not Chibana, Kadena Gate 3. There. But this is the one that people always talk about. We can't go inside of it, even though there's no gate card. What is this? Well, I wanted to show them. This oh. is this is Chibana housing right here. Chibana housing? Yeah. Hold on. There's a gate coming up. Right. It's weird. I feel like my camp face is like... Well, the car thing is kind of in the way. Oh, here. I'll do it this way. So here's a Shibana, Shibana Gate, family housing gate on the right. And then coming up to the left is uh, Camp Shields. Ah, yes. Saltoru says, just drive in. Oh yeah, the flea markets. They're all back behind here. And then uh, right here on the left is Camp Shields. Entrance to the left.
Maranatha Baptist Church is on the right. And then that about circles Kadena. Oh, thanks for coming in, Paula. Yes, thank you. Sorry, my energy energy bar is pretty low right now. It like hit me out of nowhere. Wearing down. It's not as hot though. I'm yeah. feeling better. Not so draining. Glad you guys got to see a little bit of a nice day too. Yeah. At least for the camera. It was camera. Camera perfect. Camera day. A little hot though. Yeah, it's gonna get worse and worse. We gotta get our AC fixed. When my family and I went to that church. Baptist, Maranatha. This is another road a lot of people probably took. Oh yeah. There is the CrossFit right here and then uh, CrossFit Asia. Is there the car? A lot of people buy their Coco car right here. Right here too, Coco, which is a huge nail salon. Oh. I thought there was a car sales. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah. M3. Uh, their car shop M. M. Yeah. I thought it was really big. They have two lots. They have this one, oh, and they have okay. the one across the street. Oh, oh, Mr. Kuya is in the chat. Oh, what's Kuya doing? Wait, Camille meaning Camille, Camille, Camille went to lived in Sacramento. Yeah, she went to school in Sacramento. No oh, shit, I didn't know that for a couple of years. Was her parents stationed in like Beale or something? Was that before or after Okinawa? All right, thanks for coming in, Judy. Yep, thank you. That dam is a great place to go to if we turn left. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, uh, we've, we've been to that one on the live. We'll have to go there again, actually. Yeah, we did a live there. Uh, but I need to pee. Oh, here is the pee. I know you guys have been waiting for Kit to stop and pee somewhere. It's every live. Well, this is the time. It's happening now. Yeah, Get excited. This lesson is hopping, apparently. This is the place to be. It's the place to Let pee. Turn around. Yeah, this Lawson is like hopping. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, filled up. Jeez. I don't know what what this yeah, is. Park back here, I guess. No, I'm gonna turn around. Wow, look at that parking lot. You can go way down there. No, this is for this. Whatever this is. <laughs> Maybe you can go to the next one. Yeah, what is with this? This place is like hopping. The race says, there it is. There it is. Oh, there. That guy just pulled out. Got a spot here. Lawson. Okay. All right, guys. You can see this buddy there. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, try foe in Sacramento. You mean? If so, yes. Shishi outside? No, I'm not gonna shishi outside. <laughs> I'm a little bit more sophisticated than that. But we're gonna go. Are you? No, not really. I would if I if I could get away with it. All uh, right. I, I guess this ends the live today. I'm so tired. But we'll be around next Sunday. So follow us and the Japanese, check us out. Japanese. Uh -huh. And uh, 
that's it. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. guys. Uh, we will uh, we will update you guys pretty much next week on. Yeah, we've been working hard on the clothing um, stuff, so. Yeah, Ryukyu. we're really excited. I got I drew a lot. I drew the designs, so I'm really excited for you guys to see it. <laughs> so. Anyway, thank Love you. you guys. Bye. No. Sorry. Bye. Next week. Next week. Next we'll see week. you next week. Bye.